actually in Arsenal today, so it's quite funny because I support Brighton. They're not rivals, but they were they're in the same football league. So um, there's a cache that I want to find for the Geo Challenge, which is to find a large Geo cache. So that's just down there. But the shop is literally just here. So I'm not sure if I can look, like go around the outskirts of the stadium like I can at the Brighton. But there's a shop, so you can see all the 1920 shirts. So it's quite weird being at another stadium because I think this is the first time I've been at another stadium here, other than when we visited. So it's quite different to Brighton, obviously, as well. Digging in all those diggers and everything. So I'm going to have a look, try and see if I can look around at all. I'm not sure if I can, but if I do, I'll catch you there. You guys, I've got closer to the stadium, so that's really cool. So you can just see the Emirates Stadium logo. Arsenal awesome logo there, so it's quite different, but they've got like the memory of all the players around the side of the bridge. It's not a very nice day, as always when I go to and it's raining most of the time. So it's a really nice stadium, I have to admit that. It's quite a nice, um, hopefully I can come here one day when Brighton play and support the Seagulls. So yeah. So this is a really nice seat. I'm going to walk around it, I think. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit. This is where all the, the home and away kits are. So that's where you can get your shirt from. And this is the kit at the moment. That's the away kit. I think that's the preferred kit over there. And that's the goalkeeper's kit. So it's an alright kit. But not as good as Brighton's, obviously. But yeah, it's a nice shop, I guess you could say. So yeah. I'm not going to buy anything because that would be a traitor to my club but I just wanted to look in to show you guys what it's like if you've never seen a shop like this yeah, I'll cash at the cash Hey guys, so this definitely qualifies for the largest well, for a large cash so this is a massive container I think it's like 36 gallons and the logbook and the swag is just there so there's trackables in there well, there's no trackables in here, sadly but there's a stamp in there so that's very cool so I said I don't collect stamps at all so I will not I don't want to really use it so it's very cool cash it's just in there and I had to it took me ages to find the keys so that's lucky so it's very cool cash and definitely giving this a favorite point so very cool and on to the next one so guys it's still raining I'm not even sure if you can hear me it's my phone doesn't work sometimes in the rain but just found this quick little nano so it's just under that there so that's quite cool so the, that's the second cash of the day I'm not sure if I will get any more I might try to get some, but it's raining and I'm not wearing waterproof shoes because I'm not very prepared, so that's fun, so I'm not sure, So, but I'm not going to end it here because I probably will try and show you some more, and yeah, catch you in a minute. So guys, I'm on a boat, so we're, on, we're just on the little tent here, so we didn't act, we just thought we would travel on a boat for the day, so it wasn't that expensive really, so it was like a, it's kind of like a bus kind of schedule so like ever so often that you can just get a boat along the Thames which I never knew you could do but there's like proper facilities over there so you get like hot chocolate and stuff so it's like a little cafe on a boat so that's quite cool so there's just the Thames so it's quite cool so yeah catch you later